Dear fellow recruiters, Suman Pachigula here and this video is primarily for our sales recruiter. How they can maintain their submission tracker and how they could able to monitor how it is happening with their day to day activities. Right now, as we have prepared in our previous video for recruiters. So here we got more uh, requests to prepare something like this for salespeople. All right. So here. I have mentioned few of the things which are primarily necessary and uh, you can always change it as you need. So for a sales recruiter, what is primarily important that when the person, the candidate has submitted and uh, who is the client vendor company and so and so. And if you are marketing multiple candidates, right, and then you could able to add another uh, sheet here. Okay, it's a candidate two, it's candidate one. And if you want, you can make it a duplicate of it how you can take a, a, a make right click and you will duplicate it and you can mention this one as candidate three right so you could able to use multiple sheet like this so for each candidate you can have different different sheets so if you are having five candidates you can have five sheets so in that way you could able to manage your day-to-day -day activities so now here if you are looking for the date okay so how your it is going to work let me uh, take you to, uh, through this one and i'm going to explain you that how exactly you are going to manage it right for example you are submitted a candidate you have submitted a candidate today okay so now then you will be mentioning today's date okay and you know that so you are going to mentioning uh, let me do it for you all right you are going to mention today's date now who is the end client that you have submitted for so let's say it's a bank of america all right vendor company anything right let's say randstad vendor status what is this vendor is it a direct client it is implementation partner prime vendor third party or you have applied through portal so we have given five options so if it is a prime vendor you can upgrade in prime vendor you can add a recruiter's name let's say it's raj email id whatever you're going to mention in their email id the same way it goes with phone number now rate what is that rate confirmed let's say you have a, a confirmed for 85 okay so here it is not required for your skill because you know who is your candidate is right so for that candidate you are preparing so it will have a daily record of how many clients that you are submitting and here another column that we have mentioned here for you to understand what is your relationship with the uh, vendor or the client or whomever that you have submitted now here the relationship is about where do you stand is that a cold is it a warm or it is hot or the person or the company you have submitted that is unknown now what is cold cold is something that there is information of the vendor or the client but you have never contacted them okay maybe they have never heard of you warm is those people might have heard of you or you might have contacted them in the past but the the interaction didn't happen or didn't go forward okay hot is something they know you okay you are having a connection with them so you understood so hot is something is that you have a experience with them unknown is like not even you do not you do not have any contacts nothing so it's a cold is you have the contact email id phone number anything that sort and but you have not approached unknown is that you have nothing something like you are directly applying through what you are applying through portal so if you are applying through portal and you definitely don't know if you know this person and you have a phone number of the person you can make it to cold so the target for every recruiter sales recruiter make the relationship from unknown to cold meaning from unknown to you find some in details then you make it warm then you would hot hot is that you have a relationship okay now here it goes with a submission status so we have added the submission things what is primarily required for you so it could be submitted to recruiter okay yes it could be submitted to recruiter hmm, interesting all right let me check it here and get back yes here i am back now it is working okay i just have to do the refresh and it's coming so here the status submitted to recruiter 
So here you have submitted today your candidate to Bank of America client through Randstad and this is your prime vendor and the recruiter who have submitted that who has submitted his name is Raj email ID you have the contact number the rate that you have submitted and what is this lead the lead is a hot lead relationship or you can mention it as a lead okay what is the kind of lead this is it is a hot lead and the submission status where exactly it stands and this is follow up okay meaning if you have submitted today and today is 20th when is that you are going to follow up once again are you going to follow up on 22nd or 24th or 26th you are going to mention follow up one what is the comment follow up two what is the comment and follow up three what is the comment so here you're going to mention the dates here on which date you want to connect with them okay now here it goes with submitted to recruiter end client submission and interview requested scheduled completed and offer extended okay meaning your candidate got the offer placed obviously this is what we want right it's a placed meaning the candidate through this a particular Randstad you place the candidate at $85 all right and now rejected this is something that we want to avoid on majority of the time so if there is a selection there is a rejection there is nothing what we could do or you could make it to no updates you have followed up for multiple times so you can make an update here you can change it the submission status is no updates after submission and you can add a comment here all right and now if you have submitted to this client multiple times and they have there is no update so it could be a black hole kind client you could make it to cold so here you have no i no uh you have, you are trying to reaching those people but the client is like black hole so you need to uh, you need to be cautious next time when you are connecting with these people all right so again as i mentioned this is for the sales recruiters who would like to maintain the tracker this is for ben sales recruiter i'm going to share the link in the description so you could download it and use it all right so once again this is suman pachigula i'm on a mission to impact 5 million lives through recruiters so keep changing people's life and keep making money. Thank you so much once again and I love you all. Take care and God bless.